Take two. Hey, good day folks, Bo Bob here. I've got a product I wanna share with you. So the video I just put up yesterday um, was about my landscape rake. And once again, here's why people don't want me to talk about their products. Cause I always bring up the shortfalls, the shortcomings. I want people to know what I know about a product. And when you pay for them yourself, I figure you could say what you want about them. What I'm here to talk to, to you today is about a quick hitch. And my point about my last video was my landscape rake is not quick hitch compatible. As a matter of fact, I used to have a hitch that went on to my three point that it wasn't quick hitch compatible. So I had to go out and buy a quick hitch compatible um, hitch from Heavy Hitch. There's a lot of different ones out there. And everything I touch today is just soaking wet. The humidity is high and everything's cold from the cold weather, but the temperatures are coming up. So it's a mixed blessing. So what I wanna to talk to you today is about my quick hitch. And in order to do that a little better, I am going to remove my heavy hitch. There are a lot of different quick hitches on the market, but the one I'm going to talk to you about today is the Speco. Now, I've removed the branding from this because I wanted to put these reflectors on here. This is the Speco, and I got it from Goodworks Tractor. And if you go to goodworkstractor.com, I'll leave a link in the description, probably the first pinned comment, uh, to uh, Goodworks Tractor's uh, webpage. And I'm, I have to apologize. I can't remember the guy's name. That's another reason why <laughs> people don't uh, ask me to sponsor their equipment or talk about their equipment because I can't remember names. I apologize to everybody. So this is a Speco. I did remember that much. And the good folks at Good Works Tractor, uh, they sold me this uh Quick Hitch. Now what I like about it is this is a category one quick hitch and you don't have to buy the bushings to for every one of your category one quick hitches. And to better understand that, I'm going to put a link to the video where Goodworks Tractor explains about the bushings. And if you have a quick hitch already, you probably already know about the bushings. The prices add up. If you use the uh, heavy hitch, like I have over here, I don't know if you can see it or not, but the heavy hitch has a weight bracket where I put uh, eight 40 pound weights, which adds up to 320 pounds, plus the weight of the heavy hitch, plus the weight of the quick hitch. I probably have 400 pounds of ballast hanging off the, um, my three-point. Now, one of the problems I ran into recently is my carry-all, I have my carry-all on, I ran to a neighbor's house, which is about a quarter of a mile from here, and cut down her tree. Well, when I got there, I put, I put all my stuff in my carry-all, carried it to her house, dropped the three uh, carry-all off of the quick hitch there, and was uh, had my pallet forks on and was using that to uh, pick up uh, tree tr um, tree trunks and of course it was locust locust is very heavy and my tractor got tippy but but i didn't have my quick hitch on because i used my carry-all good works tractor designed and had these weight brackets built specifically for the spico quick hitch and man, let me tell you, this is very well built material. Heavy stock, good welds, at least I think they're good, good compared to mine. And uh, they, they fit perfect, no rattling around. Um, the rattle you hear is from the, uh, the slop in the uh, three point hitch. But uh, yeah, it, it's great, it's a great combination. So pick yourself up a Speco quick hitch and a pair of weight brackets for your uh, three-point mounting solution. 
I, I highly recommend it. Again, links in the description to the video. I'll leave a, a link to the quick catch video, a link to the weight bracket video, and a link to their webpage. Um, there's a, quite a few different uh, videos on the quick catch. I think there's only one, maybe two for the bracket. But what I was able to do was hang three 40 pound weights on each side, which added 120, 280 pounds of ballast to the back. And it made moving the logs on my pallet forks a lot more stable. So it's great solution. If you ever have to remove your uh, heavy hitch or whatever hitch mount you have back here, or you put, say you had a uh, landscape rake or a land plane, you don't, you don't have enough uh, downward force, hang some weight off these weight brackets and you'll get that downward force. So I wanted to get out this out there because Goodworks Tractor just hit 200,000 subscribers and they've got a 20% sale, 20% off on their uh, uh, accessories that they sell, things like the quick hitch and the bracket and some other things on there. 20% uh, off and uh, I think he's a very good, reputable person. Every purchase I've made from him, the brackets, the quick hitch, and some other things that I purchased from Goodworks Tractor have all been excellent. And when I had some uh, confusion about the products that were delivered, <laughs> and it was my bad, uh, the good fellow at Goodworks Tractor, and I will put his name down below, I apologize, but um, I'm terrible with names. Anyhow, he spelled it out for me, drew me a picture, and made me understand that I got what I ordered. <laughs> My apologies, buddy. Anyhow, most of the time, it's the misunderstanding is on my part. So, oh, I wanted to show you something before I go. So one thing that's really cool is you got this open and closes this thing right here. It secures it. But when you put an attachment on, so for example, when I go over here, when I move this uh, heavy hitch over, I won't have to open these. You only have to open them to remove it. But to put it on, this is actually spring. See that? It's, it's sprint, sprung. And so you can go over, put your quick hitch under it, lift up, and it'll automatically seat down into the notch and lock itself in place. So if you're on a big tractor, they got bigger um, quick hitches for larger tractors. This fits on my subcompact, just fine, category one one. So yeah, I'm just running at the mouth. I like to hear myself talk, I apologize. So like I said, you know what to do. Smash that like button, subscribe, share this video with a friend. And until next time, enjoy the journey. Cheers. Stop recording.